Good day everyone. Uh, we've had a phenomenal spike in interest in underground communication, mining, mainly driving it. And uh, we've been, this antenna here was the workhorse. We must be covering 5,000 and perhaps more kilometers of underground tunnels using this guy. It was a pure 2.4 Wi-Fi antenna. They came in different sizes, some dual directional, and this served the purpose up to now because people were essentially only using 2.4. Um, Circular, we years ago developed this at a university and it proved to be a phenomenal success. I mean, we can go kilometers with this. Ah, let me say a kilometer. Up to a kilometer, we've certainly tested um, to a handout with this type of structure. Um, circular is fantastic. There's a whole white paper on our website explaining why circular is so much better. And of course, the antenna being an end fire unit doesn't occupy much of the tunnel cross section. Both of that magic advantages. But the propagation you get from this, truly astounding due to the circular polarization. What then happened is people now want to do dual band type of units. Um, and I just want to show some of the exciting new stuff. Some of it's really, it will never come in a see-through thing. We just did this for a show. Here you can see the first attempts, not attempts, this actually works, at doing a 2.4 and a 5.8. Pretty simple stuff, works, okay. But, you know, neither of these antennas have got that much of a bandwidth. So, um, once again, our, uh, I think famous at this stage, chief designer, Dr. Derek Nitsch, came out with a concept which we've now patented, which at first doesn't look that novel, um, but it's got one exceptionally novel feature to it. Um, it is a tapered Healy. Now, tapered Healy's have been around for yonks. You may say, I've seen this before. You haven't. Um, the unique feature of a tapered Healy like this is the fact that instead of just tapering the diameter, and I don't know why people haven't done that before, Derek decided he knows about lock P antennas and he tapered the spacing between them. So it's a back end fire. You see many of these type of antennas which are by filer, two, two wires making the Healy, fed in the front. This guy's a simple back end. And the moment he changed that spacing, I mean, we've tried many times to increase bandwidth by just decreasing the diameter. Everything changed. The thing suddenly behaves flat, flat, uniform, very well behaved across the whole band. Excellent front to back ratio, for example, which is struggle with the front fit type of units. So it was just like, I mean, I couldn't believe such a small change causing such a big difference, which is uh, why we have um, patented the whole concept. These things can go over wide, wide ranges because people now want to not only go 2.4, 5 gigs, they want to do the LTE bands, um, the LoRa bands, and so forth. This is why we started with, with this type of development, Ugh, just because they're beautiful to me. Um, they look pretty similar. We've also followed a completely new former technology. The formers that was used in these guys here, solid dielectric form, uh, formers, I tell you, we did very hard work because things just wouldn't work properly as hollow pipes and they don't actually work that well. They always degrade performance. It was fine if you had a narrow frequency band, but especially at high frequencies and when you get broader bands, you can't do that. So this is virtually air and we've got these type of structures. Here you can again see two of them on top of each other um, because the client wanted two different feeds. Okay, but And we could do it with that other one, the dual helis, but considerably better when you actually use the tapered ones. The performance is just extremely predictable, behaves consistently. Um, and then, of course, ultimately, many um, applications. Uh, it saves you, actually, if you go do the calcs very carefully, it saves you quite a bit of hardware if you fire both directions at any specific access point. Okay, saves you one, approximately you can get about 40% more range from a single radio um, compared to trying to do it one by one in different sections. So we've got a lot of dual feed. We've even got ones of these two sitting next to each other because some of the radios, especially the mesh radios used by Ragent, requires quite a few radios. And um, then they get massive advantage. They've got frequency diversity and they've got space diversity. And those radios, uh, I don't know what's the magical in them, but they can use whatever works best. Um, here's again just an example of a pure tapered one. It's more clear on this one that the spacing actually reduces, which we couldn't show people before, but at the moment we feel safe enough about it. So just wanted to show people we are going into a new age of Healy antennas, but all of them still with that same performance we've been managing over the past 20 years, 
but really been the past 10 years which have been used in the 2.4 and over the past two years the incredible spike in interest um, because of the IoT boom in underground. Thank you.